Hey you guys, how's it going? So I had a question the other day, uh, just yesterday, I wanted to know how do I make a wavy flag? So I posted it on here asking how do I do this kind of a thing? And uh, Peter ended up making a suggestion over here inside of Vaughn Shape and I liked his suggestion. He showed some demos as to how to get it to work with some diagonal waves and everything like that. And I went ahead and did it a slightly different way based off of his ideas and I think this is amazing. So I wanted to show you guys how I ended up doing this. So this is inside of Onshape. It's a, obviously a CAD program. It's free for those that are just doing this for hobby use, personal use, whatever. Um, and everything that you do on here and save on here is all public. It is a public document that anybody can get to make a copy of, edit, whatever. All right, so what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna start off with a new part studio and just name this thing demo. I don't need these. I'm gonna start off with a sketch. You don't have to do this, but I like to name these. I like, as a naming convention, just to say what plane I'm attached to. And then uh, give it the actual name that helps me understand what this is. So I know it's attached to the top plane, which is why I, I named it with that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use a center point rectangle and just for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to call this, let's do this one first, 100 by 200. We're going to just make a very, very, very rough flag here. But first, I'm going to put a couple of construction lines in here. Looks like I accidentally did two. And this is going to be used for the angle of the wave pattern on the flag. And I'll show you how I'm going to use that here in just a moment. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a ridiculously large circle. And you'll see what that comes in to use for later. It's basically just to cut out all the extra space, uh, trim it around the edges because we're going to end up with too much. All right, very simple stuff. You can make your little flag flag pattern. I'm using keyboard shortcuts of L to be able to draw lines and then to LQ to be able to draw a construction line. Uh, this thing needs to be measured out to be, I don't know exactly what the dimension should be. I'm gonna call it 60, 10 for that. Select this line and this line and do a linear pattern. We don't need to go horizontal, but we do need to go up. Just for the sake of this, I'm going to go with increments of 10. So basically, it's just going to draw these lines all the way up to here and overlap that one. Who cares? This one is going to draw all of these up to there. Uh, I don't even know if that's 13. I'm just going very ham slam with this. Now when I do this for real, I'm going to draw real stars, but you get the idea. Put them into all the right, right places. Okay, good enough for demo purposes. So right now we have a pattern that is going to be our top sketch. We still have this giant circle out here. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new plane. And this plane is going to be a line angle plane. Normally it's just an offset of something that you click on, but I'm going to use a line angle plane and this is the line I'm going to use. So plane for waves. Everything is set there. Okay, let's make this sketch kind of go away for just a second. So now I can see the this other plane. Uh, this is the top plane that I was working with before. This is the plane for the wave that I'm going to work on now. And a new sketch based off of this plane. 
I'm going to show this one briefly because I need two points here. I need this point and this point. Okay. Weight pattern. And then this sketch can go away again. That can go away. That can go away. I'm going to right click view normal to the sketch plane. So now I'm looking straight on, you can see up here, I'm looking straight onto the, the corner of this. All right, I need the other rectangle starting here, lining up to there. I'm going to make this so that I know I can cut on my machine about an inch deep. So I'm going to make sure that this thing is no more than an inch. I really don't care about this measurement because I'm already constrained by those two points that I had before, so I don't need to worry about that. Oops, done with that. Uh, this top line, I'm going to make that a construction line because I don't really need it other than for a reference, and now I can draw my wave. So, let's get a little bit deeper, get a little bit wiggly in here. Uh, that's too much. All right, hit escape to cancel this, turn off the tool. I need to fix this just a little bit. All right, this one's probably going to end up looking a little bit like crap, but you'll get the idea from this. Click into here, show my sketch pattern from before again, and now I'm going to extrude this wave pattern up to a vertex, and I'm going to click on this one so I'm covered all the way up to there. I need a second end position. I'm going to do the same thing going the other way. So now the wave is covering up the entire flag. Extrude the base. So now I know what that step was. Next thing I'm going to do is part of my top pattern. Remember that giant circle that I made? Well, it doesn't have to be that big. I could probably make this down to about 500. Whoops. There we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, extrude, remove, through all. There we go. All right, so now you can see I have my main pattern, nice little wavy flag thing going on here, and I don't really like how that's gonna tip up, so I'm gonna fix that in a little bit here. But the next thing that we're gonna wanna do is take anything that's gonna be white and recess it down. And for this, I'm going to extrude. Now, by default, it's just going with a blind, 25 millimeters down, which is basically cutting, you know, all the way straight down into that. And you can see all the, the waves cut into this and stuff like that. Well, I, what I want to do is I want to follow the top of this. And so this is the, the fun part. We're just going to go up to next, or excuse me, up to face maybe. Yeah, and then I'm going to use an offset distance, and in this case, I'm going to go with minus two. What that's going to do is it's going to say go up to that face and then go two millimeters deeper. So, cut shapes, and let's get rid of that top sketch. So now you can see this is the effect. Kind of cool. I really like it. It's fascinating to me. So there we go. Very. I am excited about this. This is really, really, really cool. So thank you very much for uh, you know showing me the idea of doing just a just a wave and uh, showing me how you ended up making these ones because it helped me think of how I could go about and do the exact same thing. So this is awesome. Thank you very much, Peter.